Good morning, Homestead, and please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. What's up, Homestead? I'm Drake White. And I'm Quentin Fernie. And this is HHS On Demand for Friday, November 16th. Semi-formal tickets will go on sale next week. They will be $15 through November 28th, then the 29th through December 1st, they will be $20. The semi-formal dance is on December 1st and is approaching very fast. To invite someone from a different high school, you must fill out the formal dance guest request form. You can find it on the HHS website or pick one up in the discipline office or the academy office. Hurry, it takes longer than you think to get completed. The last day we will be accepting these is Tuesday, November 27th. Scores from the Parent Club Practice SAT and ACT will be distributed at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesday, November 20th in the Homestead Community Room. A comprehensive re review session will follow. Bring your test booklet in order to be able to inquire on how to interpret the test results. A representative from the Princeton Review, the testing administrator, will discuss student scores and test taking strategies. This is a great opportunity to receive guidance for future tests. Scores not picked up will be mailed to the student's home. Scores not picked up during our score back slash review session will be available for pickup at Mrs. Snyder's office, located at door number one. Students who attend Anthus Career Center need to be aware that you are to attend next Wednesday, even though Homestead does not have school. If you ride the bus to Anthus, it will still pick you up at door four at the normal time. And now here's another edition of In the Hot Seat with Matt and Mr. Lake. Hey everybody, it's Matt Hamilton from HHS On Demand with another edition of In the Hot Seat with Mr. Lake. All right, so Mr. Lake, uh, this question for this week is going to be one of those that I'm sure students have been grumbling about forever and ever. Uh, in the future, is there going to be any possibility of longer passing periods in the halls? Well, it's a good question. Uh, it's, it's interesting. You see some of the younger kids having to hustle from the uh, freshman academy over to here, and I, I understand that that's a pretty long haul. Uh, in the past, they've done a good job, and, and, we, and we really feel like we've, we've got that to the point where they're making that happen. But, for instance, if you just add two minutes to the passing period, that adds like 12 minutes to the, to the school day. And so what that can do to the whole district is – um, for a good example might be when the buses show up here at the end of the day. If there's, a, if, if there's a little bit of snow on the ground and the buses have to pick the middle school kids up first, if there's snow on the ground or on the roads, that slows them down uh, maybe a minute or two minutes. They show up a little bit late getting here, our bells ring, uh, kids are out there trying to walk across the parking lot, buses are rolling in, it's very dangerous. And then uh, let's say we're a little bit late getting out of here and then we have to go to the elementary school after they drop everybody off. Yeah. So they usually end up uh, on bad snow days. They're really late to the elementary schools, which creates problems with getting kids home and parents waiting for the elementary kids to get off at the bus stop. So when you add just two minutes to the, to the passing period, it's going to ripple through the whole school district and, it, and the whole bus schedule and, and the, literally every elementary schedule and middle school schedule will have to be altered to, to accommodate that. So can it be done? It can be done, but it's, it's a huge undertaking to make that happen. And I think that uh, we have plenty of social time in the hallway. You, I mean, kids don't go to their lockers. We're one of the few schools out there that kids don't use lockers because they would rather spend time standing in the hallway and talking. And I'm okay with that. And if you look around, I don't think anybody's missing out on, on their social life. No. Right. But it is a lot more complicated than really anybody could have guessed, right? Yeah, I mean, it, when you sit down, it's, it's always hard to look at the big picture and, and all the change that needs to take place. And, and it, but it is. It, it would be a whole district 
it would have to be a whole district change just to add a couple minutes to the day. It, it, it's it's complicated. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Lake. All right, Homestead, that was another edition of In the Hot Seat with Mr. Lake. If you have any questions that you want to submit to Mr. Lake, you can submit them to room 600B, Mr. Shankle's room. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Matt and Mr. Lake. What are you doing this afternoon? Hopefully planning on going to SAD's Bowling Over Bullies event at Westwood Lane's Bowling Alley. It starts at 4 and lasts two hours until 6. It's only 7.50 to get in, and it's two hours of bowling, shoe rental, and pizza. See you at 4 today at Westwood Lanes. For students who are registered to take the December 8th ACT exam, your photo ID picture must be downloaded and sent to ACT by noon December 4th. If you have not done this by December 4th, the registration for taking the December 8th ACT exam will be canceled. And now here's Greg with a special announcement for all math students. So listen up. What's up, Homestead? I'm Michael Zimmerman, and lately I've been noticing a lot of students needing help with math, especially Matt Barbish. Now, you guys can start going to the Math and Resource Room after school on Tuesdays and Wednesdays for free tutoring. These are math teachers volunteering their time to make sure you guys succeed in math. So again, Tuesdays and Wednesdays in room 505 or across from Ms. Grody's room, the Math and Resource Room is offering free tutoring, so I hope to see you guys there. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Greg. Come join our Zumbathon this Sunday, November 18th, to help support Fort Wayne Children's Hope House and SACS dance teams. It is from 4 to 6.30 p.m. in the Auxiliary Gym here at Homestead. The cost is $10 per person. We are also selling raffle tickets that are four for $5. Please come support us. Gymnastic tryouts will be Monday and Tuesday, November 19th and 20th in the NGAP Gym. Monday tryouts will be from 5.30 to 7.30, and Tuesday tryouts will be from 6 to 8. You must have a physical and concussion form on file in the athletic office before you can try out. Since there won't be any announcements for next week's short week, here's a special Thanksgiving edition of Question of the Week. What's up, Homestead? I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Preston Wolf. And we're doing a special Thanksgiving edition of Question of the Week. I'm here with Rachel. Rachel, where are you going for Thanksgiving? Well, I'm going down to Indy with all my family, so it's going to be a good time. That sounds really fun. Aaron, where are you going for Thanksgiving? You know, I'm just going to stay home with the family. Sounds good. I'm thinking going to St. Louis to spend time with my family and eat some ham turkey and macaroni and cheese. I'm going to Kalahari with my family. Rose, what's your favorite food for Thanksgiving? My favorite food has to be ham. That's disgusting. Turkey? Oh, well, my grandma makes a nice sweet tea mixed in with a little gravy. And nothing else will warm your stomach even more than that. All right, I'm here with Dakota. North, not south. Dakota, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? I'm here with Spencer. Pumpkin Spencer, pie. what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Popcorn. <laughs> uh, pumpkin pie. Uh, dude, I like everything, like ranging from mashed potatoes, turkey, ham. I'm gonna probably eat the entire turkey, just because turkey's amazing. Ham. Uh, yeah, the ham is very good. Eat the ham with like ketchup and mustard, turkey with like hot sauce, uh, a lot of sides in it, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, green beans, you know, some cabbage, the pies. I love pies, so I'm probably gonna eat some bomb pie and uh, some watermelon. Watermelon's bomb. Grapes, uh, pineapple. Yeah, just whatever I like we have at the house. Beverages. I'm gonna drink a lot of beverages because I'm gonna be thirsty from all the turkey. Because the turkey's amazing, and you know I'm just gonna slam. Marcus, what's your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? Well, uh, me and all my bros, we just take our shirts off, we get oiled up, we wrestle for a bit, and we eat turkey afterward. But we don't change or anything. We just wear that, and um, after that, we just go take a nap together and watch football. Sounds fun. It's so really fun. It's great. We make turkey and stuffing and my brothers come home for Thanksgiving and we sit around. Man, favorite family tradition is definitely just getting together and eating lots of good food and watching. That sounds fun. Probably going house to house asking for candy. Well, I have to say getting five days off school and then watching my lions get embarrassed on national television. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is watching Barbish's Colts, I mean lions, get embarrassed on Thanksgiving. All right, there you have it, Homestead. I'm Preston Wolf. And I'm Ron. And that was our Thanksgiving edition of Questions of the Week. 
Well, that wraps up this edition of AJHS On Demand. I'm Quentin Fernie. And I'm Drake White. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in two weeks.